2021 Good afternoon everybody. Uh, today I'll do a, just a real short video on annealing brass. Pa and myself, we anneal after every firing and this is with uh, my Neely's, I guess you would call it the 2.0. Uh, I've had this now about a year and a half and as I said we anneal after every firing. Uh, I pretty well use the globe method but I do go back and check it with uh, with uh, tin plaques and mainly what I'm looking for uh, I want to get a glow around the top and I do not want my heat transfer to go any further than say uh, 3 8 of an inch past the shoulder here just my preference Everybody has their own preference and their own method of doing it. Uh, there are better annealers out there, uh, uh, like the Amp Induction Annealer. Uh, at my level in this game, uh, I use the Annealies. It has proved very effective. And for the money, you cannot beat this machine. So I'm going to get right on into it. Uh, Let's crank up the old torch here. Uh, for the Lapua brass, I found uh, usually 19% works. I uh, usually uh, drop it to 18 for the large rifle primers. All of these cases are going to be small rifle primers. I have an old set which has two firings on it and I've got two brand new sets of Lapua, Lapua small rifle primers and well here we go. And when I say I look for the globe method I just want it to start glowing in this general area right here. Uh, I have it set where it comes out just as it completes and my heat transfer goes down and then I check it with, like I said, the tin plaque. And here we go. If you can't tell, I'm new at making these videos, so usually everything I record is pretty well raw data, so it is what it is. And as I said, this is how I do it. I'm going to turn the lights down here in a moment and see if uh, this camera will pick up the uh, and I'm just looking for the glow to come in and I got my glow Run two more of these and then I'll put the tin black in. Let's run our tin plaque. I miss my key. Yeah, 
And as you can see about where the tin plaque stops at right there, that's pretty well about where I want it at. And these going in right now are new cases. Uh, cutting, cutting light out is not going to help pick it up. I'm sorry about that. We are working on new cameras. Check and make sure I'm getting my glow like I want it. I want it to come out just as uh, it completes the full circle. Yeah. Yeah, that's where I want it. Now this first set here, I'm going to run through. They've had two firings on them. They've been annealed after every one.
And that's pretty well how I kneel my brass. Like I said, I love this Anili's uh, 2.0. Uh, it's been very effective in our shooting. It's definitely increased. Uh, show you the anneal lines on these, but uh, like I said, this camera doesn't pick up very good at close distances and so forth. It looked like it picked that one up pretty good. Uh, this is how I do mine. Uh, any questions comment in the section down below and like I said I'm very new at doing the videos and so forth uh, I'll I'll get better as I progress any questions or anything comment down below and give it a thumbs up see tech out